In a game that can be summed up as ugly, the LSU Tigers lost their SEC opener to a team they hadn't lost to at home in over two decades. You kind of, you know, go back and you review this and you say, now, now what, what exactly happened here? What happened was a 34-29 Bulldog upset that was a bigger blowout than the score initially suggests. The last time Mississippi State beat the LSU Tigers on this field was over 20 years ago in 1991. And when they led 34-10 in the fourth quarter, it seemed like the streak would end until Brandon Harris and Malachi Dupree connected a couple times to bring LSU within five. But it wasn't enough. Mississippi State staved off LSU's furious comeback with a last second end zone interception. The good news is, is that this football team is, is still going to fight and still going to come back and play. And, and uh, I, was, I was proud of their, uh, the back end of that game. You know, when you suffer a loss like this and things go wrong, you know, a lot of guys want to start pointing fingers. And uh, that's not going to happen with this team. We're going to accept it as an offense, as a defense, and really as a whole team. LSU's late game heroics were led by freshman backup quarterback Brandon Harris, possibly opening up the door to another QB controversy. I don't think he was expecting to get in and, you know, do the things he did, but he was ready for it, you know, and when he got in, he stepped in the position as he was a starter, and he made a lot of plays. Only time will tell if a quarterback controversy is in the works, but right now, the Tigers are focused on putting this week behind them. Yeah, I think we'll look at this film and improve, and I think it'll be miserable. I don't think there's going to anybody going to be smiling for a while. LSU will hopefully get a smile back on their face next week as they open up as 47-point favorites over New Mexico State. Johnny Lombardi, Tiger TV Sports.